can be very feminine and soft and, and yet they can be really painful and can be used as weapons but you can see how much longer that is that it got to last year like a little mini dagger on the end of my finger I really think I'd be able to get a good stab when I did it with this thumbnail oh my gosh it hurt <laughs> it hurt so bad a few people as well have asked about my feet and asked if I grow my toenails Well, hello, my long nail loving friends, and Happy New Year to those who celebrate the Georgian calendar. I have just filmed this entire video and the audio did not work. So here we go again. I hope you are well. I hope you have all enjoyed the festive season again, should you celebrate. This video is going to be less focused on ASMR and more focused on long nails. So I'm talking in my normal voice and I'm going to be talking about my nails some more, showing my nails up close and it's not going to be focused on ASMR necessarily. Something that I've learned since starting this channel and doing these videos is that people who are interested in long nails like talking about long nails, they like hearing me talk about long nails, they like knowing facts about them, things like that. So that is what this video is going to be. It's a little bit impromptu. Although seeing as I have already filmed it once. Hopefully I can remember everything I wanted to say. First, I want to address my right hand. I have had a break here. This was really quite a long nail actually. And I think I mentioned it in my painting red video that it had a crack. I tried to save it. I put a patch on it, but it was it was already too bad. There was actually several cracks. I have no idea how it happened, honestly. My nails in general break in the most mundane situations. So this one had to go. Thankfully, it's not down to the skin. Sadly, you will notice this nail is looking a little funky. This nail has a crack right down here. And I'm so sad about it. It's got a patch on and I've been using this super gel top coat from Rimmel. It's really strong. I like it. So that has kind of stuck this patch on. You can see it there. I really don't want to cut this one because then all the nails on this hand are short. This one is not too bad and I think this one in another month or two will be noticeably long. Whereas the others I think will need a bit longer until they're noticeably long. I don't know what I will do concerning my videos and my photos on Instagram when I only have one hand of long nails. When I started this channel, these two were really long, so I could use both hands and it still felt like all my nails were long. Whereas now, when this one's gone, it will be very obvious that I only have one hand of long nails. I don't know what I'll do with that. Hopefully I'll continue to make videos. I'll just focus on my left hand, I guess. Also, I'm wearing my replica Princess Diana Princess Catherine of Wales engagement ring. I don't know, I bought this about 10 years ago. I just thought I'd change it up a bit. I have a tape measure here because I found a photo from last year of this pinky nail. 
So this pinky nail is pretty cool at the moment. However, I knew she had been longer. So I was trying to dig out the photo that shows um, me measuring it. So look, this is two centimeters almost exactly, 20 millimeters. And this photo that I found is nearer two and a half, almost up to 25 millimeters. So you can see how much longer that is that it got to last year. It's pretty cool at the moment, but last year it really was like a little mini dagger on the end of my finger. This one's long too. This is the longest if you count the, the pink part, but there's something very... There's something more about this one, I think, because it has the smaller, the smaller bit there. This thumb has grown way longer as well. How long is it now? We are at maybe one and a half, 15 millimeters. I couldn't find a picture of this one, but this thumbnail grows really, really long. And it's also seriously strong. It's my strongest nail. This nail is going to win against a lot a lot of weapons. I've been amazed by how strong it is and actually with the destroying videos that I've been doing it amazes me every time. I filmed a scratching video yesterday where I scratched up my arm and I kind of just wanted to show the, the marks that the nails can leave and the, the imprints when you dig them in. When I did it with this thumbnail, oh my gosh, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt so bad. This thumbnail could easily draw blood. I won't, I won't film that because I think I might get flagged by YouTube. People's requests for destroying things with my nails, I have found really interesting. It's not something I ever considered doing or I ever wondered about. But now that people are asking me and requesting, I kind of am wondering about it. I've had requests to scratch up a zucchini, which um, I'm in England, we call it a courgette, but zucchini is a better word. And I'm really interested to try that because of the dark green on the outside and the light green or white on the inside. I think that would leave some really interesting marks. And I really think I'd be able to get a good stab into a zucchini. I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow actually. I might try and pick one up. I really have been surprised by how strong my nails can be. I've never really put them to the test before but the bar of soap for example that I clawed into it was a really hard bar of soap and I could just turn it into dust on the table. It was amazing. I've bought another bar of soap to try. Actually, it's a soft, I think it's a softer bar. It's translucent, so I'm hoping it will give a different feel to the dust. It might come out more in chunks. I don't know, we'll see. I will film that soon. My computer has very annoyingly broken on me. The screen has started flickering and it's the computer that I use for uploading these videos. I film them on my phone and edit on my phone but this is a really old phone and it doesn't do very well when it comes to uploading directly from my phone to YouTube so I have to do it from my computer which has always been fine however now with the flickering screen, it really gives me a headache. I will get it fixed, but it has meant I am way behind with keeping up with people's comments. 
I really like to reply to comments or DMs and with my broken computer, sadly I am way behind. So if you're feeling like I've ignored you, if you've commented or made a request and I haven't replied, I'm sorry. I will see it eventually. I just, I cannot sit in front of that computer with the flickering screen and doing it on my phone is, again, it's kind of too much for my phone. I find it interesting that people have requested to see this angle of my nails, the back, in here. I've never really thought about it, but a few people have asked for that. Generally, I think it looks nicer from this side, but I guess everyone's different. And these, this thumb, you see there, it's quite curved, and it gives it this kind of pointy appearance. Because it, as it grows longer, it curls more. The other nails don't seem to do that as much, but... Maybe that's what helps make it strong and it sort of gives it, I like the, the look that it gives it this kind of point. Since being in this long nail community, I've seen people file their nails into points at the end. Not complete points, but just more pointy than this. I really want to try it. And I think for my destroying videos as well, having pointed nails would be really fun. I'm nervous too because my nails are growing so nicely on this hand. If I start filing them down too much, it might like, cause a little snag or something. I just don't want to risk them breaking, so I'm probably not going to try it. But I think it would be really fun for... So I want to try tearing, seeing how easy I can tear up a pair of tights. Um, in America, it's uh, pantyhose. Um, I call them tights here. Because I'm forever putting holes in, or runs in tights if I try to wear them because of my nails. So I, I'm really curious to try and see how easily I could just rip up a pair. Like put them on my legs and just let my nails sink into them and see how much it can rip them. I don't know, maybe, maybe a future video. I think I've pretty much adapted to having long nails to the point that I can't really even think of things that I struggle with because of my nails being long. The first thing that jumps to mind is making a fist. A lot of people around me study martial arts and I'm constantly being told that I don't make a proper fist, which I'm fully aware of because I cannot <laughs> to make a proper fist. You need to curl your fingers in tuck your thumb in but I just can't I can't do that <laughs> other things I think I've just got used to having long nails and have found my own way of doing things with that I uh, there's a pencil here writing is fine it doesn't get in the way Oh, I'm, I'm filming a day in the life today. Not that anyone asked for a day in the life with long nails, but I'm filming that and I'm wearing a buttoned top and doing buttons up with long nails is something that I struggle with. <laughs> but other things, driving, they don't really get in the way there. Maybe 
maybe little things like earrings. There's some earrings I wore over Christmas. Doing the backs is can get tricky. But again, I've kind of just got used to it. have asked me if people in real life ever ask about my nails. People who are friends with me of course know that I have long nails and so it doesn't really ever come up in conversation but I have never had a stranger come up to me and make a comment about my nails or ask about my nails. Never once. I I swear people just don't care. People in my real life have absolutely no interest in my nails, which is why I was so amazed to find that some people are interested. I would be really happy to talk to someone if someone came up to me on a train or just in the shops and noticed my nails and wanted to ask about them. I would, I would be so happy to talk to them about it but it just never happens. I'm amazed there's so many people out there who are interested and I've never come across one of them or, well, no one's ever made themselves known to me anyway. of just my everyday life I probably use my hands more like this than like that unless I'm attacking someone <laughs> with my claws um, I would go in like that not that I do that but if I'm picking up objects I will sort of flick my nails out more and use this part of my hand that way I can pick things up and I'm also putting the nails out of uh, they're less likely to get hit like that. Let's see if any of them are an inch. I think I did this in my measuring video. Oh yep, if you go from the bottom some of you guys might use inches. How does it work? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Ah, oh, so you have eighths of an inch. Sorry, I'm learning as we go. Eighths and sixteenths. Wow. I'll stick to millimeters. So we have an inch and one sixteenth. And then let's do the longest. One and one two eighths. Wait, one and two eighths is one and a quarter. <laughs> one and a quarter inches. I really want these nails to grow longer. There will be a point, I guess, when I feel like they stop looking nice. But for now, I like how they look. I think they could get. Mm at least half as much again, longer, and I will still like how they look. Maybe you guys won't. They don't curve very much. Some people's nails, uh, like, well, you can see this one curves a little bit more. This one barely curls at all. I don't feel like they're going to start coming down here or anything. I think we've got some length in them yet. nails are always the longest. I know this one's not long right now, but they always grow the longest. I think they're so cute. Someone said to me that they look like little daggers. I really like that. <laughs> it kind of 
does look like a little dagger. And they're pretty strong, strong enough to be little daggers, I think. A few people as well have asked about my feet and asked if I grow my toenails. That's not something I can get my head round as much as I can get my head round people liking fingernails. Fingernails, the more I'm talking to you guys and learning about what you like and find interesting, one of the things is that long fingernails are generally grown by women. They can be very feminine and soft and they can be very dainty. And yet, if you decide for them to be, they can be really painful and can uh, be used as weapons, basically. So I think that, what's the word, juxtaposition between the two ways of looking at fingernails, I think that is interesting and I think it's the attraction of a lot of people. Toenails is, is different because I can't see that anyone sees that same uh, femininity and danger at the same time with fingernails. May maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I think I, I really like my feet. I do think I have pretty feet. They're quite small. They're a UK size four. I don't know what that is in any other country. And I'm five foot six, so in comparison to my height, my feet are quite small and they're quite dainty. But I just, I can't imagine I would ever grow out my toenails on them. My toenails are not short on my toes. They just, I don't know, I quite like these nails and I'm proud of how they look. Whereas I can't say the same for my feet, even though I think I have nice feet. I hope this has been kind of interesting for you guys. Please, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments because I'm so intrigued by your guys' questions and learning more about what people would enjoy, what kind of videos people would enjoy. So please ask in the comments or request in the comments. I'm behind at the moment, but I will I will get to requests and and questions, I promise. So next videos that I'm filming will be the zucchini, hopefully, if I can get hold of one. The soap I have ready to go. The day in the life will take quite a lot of editing, so I don't know when that one will come. But yeah, any more destroying videos? Maybe I'll try the one with the tights. I just don't want to get flagged by YouTube for something ridiculous like inciting violence against women or something like that by ripping on my tights. <laughs> <laughs>